going to Botswana it's about 4 30 in the morning and we so what I meant to say earlier was that we are going to Botswana to meet with the chiefs there and to bring tribal chaplaincy to them and for those of you who don't know we train chaplains for the tribal leaders of Africa and we are wanting to expand into into Botswana and so our friends have a connection with one of the chiefs of the largest tribe in Botswana so we're gonna meet with him and hopefully a few of the other chiefs to talk about the ability to have a spiritual advisor in their palace but on the way we're gonna stop and see some of the largest salt pans in the world Botswana is known for having salt pans which is if you don't know just a huge, I guess, like, as far as you can see, full, a field full of salt. And um, we're gonna try driving out there, checking it out while we're on the way. And so hopefully that will be pretty cool. Okay, so now we're headed to Maun, Botswana, where we have some friends that live there. They've been in Botswana for over almost almost 40 years, and they have a ministry there called Love Botswana, and they work a lot with building up the communities and with kids, and it's amazing. So we're going to go stay with them, and they're connected to and friends with the chief or the largest tribe in Botswana. And so we're hopefully going to be able to meet with him, share about travel chaplaincy and he'll probably and hopefully be able to connect us to the rest of the chiefs in the nation. And behind there is works. Morning babe. What are we doing today? We are going horseback riding and then we are doing some chief stuff, making invites to invite the chiefs here in Botswana to our luncheon we're doing next week where we're going to tell them all about chaplaincy. Babe, what do you think? This is so much fun. You can get up and close to the animals because they don't see people, they just see the horse. So you get really close to like the giraffes and different deer. It's really cool. All right, we're heading in to meet with the Paramount Chief now, so I'll let you know how that goes. Before we head into that meeting, let me share a little bit about why we're trying to have this meeting. So we work with the tribal leadership, like what Tate was saying before, and how leadership is structured in Botswana is you'll have a village, um, and you'll have a village headman, you'll have over a cluster of villages or chiefdom, you'll have a chief, and then over that, you'll have a paramount chief or king. Kind of like similar to how we, in the US, we have like a mayor, governor, president. And so we're heading to go and meet with basically the president of the tribal leadership in Botswana to share with him about the tribal chaplaincy vision, explain to him how it's worked in, in Zambia. And then hopefully he'll invite us to the house of chiefs, which is similar to like the house of representatives in the US. And there we can share about tribal chaplaincy to all of the chiefs and it'll be widely adopted throughout the nation in Botswana, just like it's um, been implemented in Zambia. All right, we just got done with the meeting with the Paramount Chief. How do you think it went? It went really good. He was super nice and was, seems very excited. We showed him um, the video on King of Kings and told him about what happened there. And it seems really excited to have the chiefs here start receiving chaplains. So we're gonna have a lunch on Thursday of this week where we're gonna gather hopefully 50 chiefs from this area to hear about having a chaplain and then hopefully some of them can have chaplains even trained later this year. So it went super well, we're super excited for these new relationships and now we gotta get together all of the invitations to invite the chiefs and yeah, it's gonna be great. Hold on real quick. So we are kind of in the flow of the day um, doing meetings and all of a sudden our friend knows a pilot who's going up tonight on his airplane to go oversee the Delta. And so he had some open seats and he said, hey, if we want to come, we can come and go check out the Delta 
the Okavango Delta at sunset. So we're gonna go do that right now. It should yeah. be beautiful so and we're exciting. super excited. And not only do we get to experience this together, but we get to experience this with our great friends, the Sterlings. Come on. Kiran, who are you? What do you do? Introduce yourself <laughs> and your family. I am Kiran from South Africa. We are missionaries of these suckers over here and we are blessed to be out here. Awesome, let's go fly. I'm sure you get cheesy jokes all day long. Mound in Botswana, go and do the helicopter ride, or sorry, the airplane ride. Helicopter would be awesome too, but yeah, it's so cool. It's just like so vast for miles and miles. No people, no civilization, just animals everywhere. So cool. That was like probably one of my favorite things I've ever done in my entire life. I'm serious. I must say, this time in Botswana has just been incredible. The relationships that we've been able to make, make the people that we've been able to meet, and the experiences that we've been able to have are incredible. It, it looks, you know, super easy on the video. I kind of was editing and watching this video. In between, there's a ton of chaos, a ton of work um, happening to be able to make everything happen with the traditional leaders, but it has just been amazing, and God has just been so good this week. And today it is Sunday evening. The luncheon is tomorrow and we just found out that there's some miscommunications and the invites to the chiefs have not been sent out yet for the lunch that is happening tomorrow so stay tuned for part two yeah to find out if we have any chiefs that show up to this luncheon <laughs> yeah